I move that the bills divided from the statutes amendment bill number four be now read a third time. By their nature, statutes amendment bills do not address significant policy matters, as you've heard, sir. And the amendments proposed must be technical and short and be non-controversial. Crucially, though, that means that having the support of all members of this House. However, sir, statute amendment bills are an important part of the government's legislative programme. They make amendments that individually would not receive the priority needed to be progressed, but they allow us to keep law up to date, accurate and fair. As has already been stated this afternoon, sir, uh, the bill does amend 34 acts administered by eight different government agencies. And some of the objectives uh, sir, achieved by the amendments in this bill include, firstly, clarifying uh, the request for official information that may be communicated in any form. Secondly, it gives Auckland Transport the functions and powers of an enforcement authority in relation to prosecuting infringement offences for public transport fare evasion, putting Auckland Transport on the same footing as other regional councils. So it also allows every properly authorised enforcement officer to execute a search warrant under several regulatory regimes, such as the Animal Welfare and Biosecurity Acts. So it also extends protect the protection of Antarctic flora and fauna, thereby allowing New Zealand to fully implement its international obligations under the Protocol on the Environmental Protection of the Antarctic Treaty. So we also heard earlier today how the bill allows the Judicial Conduct Commissioner to refer a complaint to their deputy for investigation to allow for more efficient processing of those complaints. So it also clarifies when an infringement reminder notice is deemed to be served on a defendant, as you will know. One of the other things this bill does, sir, is it allows the Ombudsman to refuse to formally investigate a complaint if preliminary inquiries show it is unnecessary to allow for more timely and efficient complaints resolution. So a number of people have been instrumental in the passage of the Statutes Amendment Bill, and I want to thank members, all members across this House of the Government Administration Select Committee, as well as the Justice officials who assisted them in progressing this bill through the House. May I also um, thank those who submitted on the bill for their useful and, and well thought out considered submissions. <coughs> Finally, I want to thank all parliamentary parties for their backing of the amendments contained in this bill. Mr Speaker, I commend all these bills to this House. I call the